kind of interesting, but you know, I've been around the horse business all my life, and trends uh, trends are are interesting, always interesting to watch. Um, natural horsemanship is certainly something not something new. It's just in a new package. Um, however, we do know a lot more about horse behavior. There's been a lot more research into horse behavior in the last couple of decades than all of this, this time before that because, um, you know, horses in this country anyway are not agricultural animals. They're not food-based um, commodities. So the research dollars have not really gone into um, horse sports. But um, it's, I think the, I think the uh, craze over natural horsemanship is wonderful and because it is enlightening people that um, maybe there's another way to do this that is better or easier or more humane or whatever. And when I was traveling in Europe and I would do um, demonstrations, um, people would come up to me of all ages and, and genders would come up to me and said, I had no idea that you could do that, that I had no, I just, all I know about training horses is the way my father did it and the way my grandfather did it. Um, uh, you know, regardless of how brutal it might have been. And, um, so I love that aspect of natural horsemanship. Have we maybe gone a little overboard? <laughs> and, um, I, I'll tell you, you know, just one of my, uh, I, I already alluded to one of my pet peeves is with, and people come up to me all the time and say, I'm having such and such problem with my horse. And I know the answer is you got to do groundwork. And they say, but I've already done all the groundwork. I've done the whole thing and it didn't work. Well, I know it's because you did it wrong. And just because you got the stick and the rope and the whatever doesn't mean you're doing it right. <laughs> And if you don't understand the underlying principles of behavior, if what you're doing is just whacking them this part of the body with the stick or shaking the stick over here or, or, or you know, making your horse jump through this hoop or that hoop, but you don't understand the how you are influencing the horse behaviorally, what is the behavior you're trying to affect? Why is the horse acting that way to begin with? And how do you know it? And what is it you're trying to change? And is what you're doing actually changing that or, or, or Matt, you know, or whatever is it provoking the horse? Um, so that's, that's the, the double edged sword of the focus on behavior based training. Um, then the other side of that is that you're right. Everybody and his brother wants to be a natural horsemanship clinician. And notice I said everybody and his brother, not everybody and his sister, because there's not that many of us gals out 